Good morning, everyone. Today I wanted to talk about something that I struggled with a lot when I was just starting out as a writer. And that thing is the common writing advice that you have to write every day in order to be a good writer. So I wanted to talk a little bit about where this comes from, where this mentality comes from, and how I've learned to combat it and live with myself when I don't write every day, um, and even what that can mean and what that can look like in different ways to either get around the whole write every day thing or let it go entirely. So first, I want to talk about where this idea came from. And essentially, it comes from viewing writing as art or from viewing writing as a job. So if you have a view of your writing as art, you are going to practice your writing in the same way that you would practice painting or calligraphy, brushwork, musical instruments. You don't get good at playing the piano by sitting down once every once in a while and playing for 15 minutes, like once a week, and wandering off again. Um, you don't get good at playing the tuba by picking it up once a week and just not doing anything in between. So with that line of thinking, you don't get good at writing without regularly practicing it. Um, there are things that you cannot do well without being constantly entrenched in writing and constantly entrenched in worlds. So from that perspective, from the perspective of writing as art, yes, you should practice at the very least regularly. So what does that mean, right? What would it look like to practice regularly? What does that look like to study writing as an art form? And that means it sounds, it, it is. You have to write every day if you want to get really good at it. Like, if you want to be one of the greats, yeah. You have to write at least regularly, if not every day. And what does regularly mean? That could be three times a week, four times a week. Right? I personally think that holding yourself to a standard of writing every day, um, especially if you're like me, I am capable of writing in short spurts if I have recently been writing. Um, if I'm still entrenched in my world, I can sit down, write something for 15 minutes, get out and go. Right? Um, the thing is, I the longer that I have between writing stints, the longer I need in a writing stint to both get back into the world, understand where the plot was going, remember how um, how the characters are feeling and help it flow better, and so on and so forth to create something good, right? So I need at least three or four hours of writing time whenever I get back into a writing period. And that's the tricky thing here with the write every day philosophy. I don't have three to four hours every day to write. I wish I did. Oh, how I wish I did. Um, but there's this little thing called real life that I still have to live. And I don't have time to sit down for three to four hours every day, which means that I run out of steam and I, I start feeling really guilty about not writing every day. And that's not healthy. That's not a good thing. Um, especially when it's something I'm supposed to be doing for fun, relaxation, and stuff like that. The other side of this coin is treating it like a job, right? Um, they say that as a professional writer, I've said this before, um, one of my favorite tips is to treat writing as your job. And that has, again, it's a double-edged sword. To treat something as your job means that you come at it with a dedication and that expectation of work that you must do. Um, things like platform building, marketing, blogging, all of that can easily get a job-like feel to it. And I think that's okay. I think that's good, even. Um, I treat my YouTube videos as a, as a job. I treat my Patreon family and everything I do for them as a job. Um, especially because they pay me for it. I have an obligation to give them what they, what I've promised them on time. Um, and so 
as we look at treating writing as a job, if you go to work every day, you're going to want to write every day. But that's the thing, is most of us don't go to work every day. Most of us go to work five to six days a week. And so what does that look like when it comes to writing? Either, here's the compromise here, either on that day off from your regular work, you spend all day writing, or alternatively, you take that day off entirely and you fit writing in the other days. Um, and if you're capable of it, writing for 15 minutes to half an hour every day will do incredible things for you. It will. It will do really incredible things for your skill set, your writing. It'll make it easier to finish novels and projects. Um, you'll get used to tropes. You'll get a feel for the cadence and the flow and the pacing that you need to tell a good story. Um, and some things will take longer to write than others. So if you're trying to get into the practice of writing every day, start with short stories, start with flash fiction, start with poetry. Um, that the artists out there who write poetry and short stories are going to be mad at me for saying that. Um, but the reality of the nature, the reality of it is, if you're going to spend some time trying to grow your craft, those are the things that will help you. And then you can go back and try to tackle a novel. Then you can go back and work on your 100,000 word epic fantasy novel, right? Um, if you start at the beginning when you're still trying to learn to write, and that's the thing with every book. This is why authors get better with age, um, typically, is the more books that they write, the better they become. So the first book that you write is going to suck. I'm sorry, it just is. And that's a fact of nature, simply because you've never written a book before. You don't have to be good at something the first time through, right? You might be good, but it also might be the hardest thing to fix you've ever written once you know more about things. So I would caution you to not be too hasty in publishing the first book you write. Um, you might live to rewrite things. Anyway, all that to say, writing every day can be super helpful, but it can also cause this feeling of guilt and a lack of, for, a, for lack of a better word, it's a disappointment in oneself for not standing up to the measures that you thought you could, or for not being as dedicated to your craft for this thing that you're supposed to love as you could. So I would modify this tip to do something for your writing career every day, unless you're taking a rest day, and that can count as doing something for your writing career. Um, because if you get burned out, you can't write. It's, it's not possible. Um, and the faster you get burnt out, the longer it takes to recover. And so if you are going to spend some time trying to grow your craft, trying to treat writing as a job, get used to writing every day, aim to write for about 15 minutes every three days, at the very least, because um, then you'll be making progress. 15 minutes is enough to make some sort of progress every time. Thinking about the plot counts as writing. Thinking about characters counts as writing. Figuring out how things will work in this world that you're crafting, that counts as writing. Um, granted, you still have to put it all on the page or nobody else will be able to experience it with you. But you have to have something to put on the page first. So if on Monday you spend some time writing and you hit it, you get stuck, right? On Tuesday, spend some time thinking through the problem, right? Set a timer, 15 minutes. Think through the problem of why you got stuck. Go from there. Wednesday, start writing again, going off of this solution that you found on Tuesday. Thursday, if you get stuck again, great, you know what to do. Take a moment, figure it out, come back to it on Friday. Friday, write for as long as you can if you want to, or just write for another 15 minutes. You're still making progress. Any word added is progress. And doing that process throughout the week is going to help you become a better writer. It's going to train your brain to start thinking, okay, at least every day I need to be doing something. And then on Saturday, if you're like, okay, I don't know what to write, I'm kind of burnt out, I'm tired already, and this is just one week, that's okay. Take a breath, get on Twitter. I know it's our favorite place to be, right? Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, whatever. 
um, start creating some tweets, start creating some posts figure out how you want to grow your platform because that's still helping towards your writing career. So if you can do those things every week, you're going to make progress. It might be slow progress, but any progress is still progress. I hope this helps other people out there who are feeling or who have felt that same, I can't write every day. Does that make me a bad writer feeling? We don't need to have the guilt. That doesn't help. Um, so I hope this can help relieve some of that guilt, relieve some of that pressure, provide a plan of attack for how you get started again if you decide to write every day. But if not, that's okay. It's okay to write once a week. It's okay to write twice a week. It's okay to take two days every month and just write all day. That's still making progress. In the off time, continue building your career. Continue working on your career. Work on your platform. Work on your blog. Create an email list. Find a way to reach people so that when you do have something to promote, you have people already ready to listen. Until next time, I'll see you then. If you like these videos, I would love it if you would join me on Patreon. There's a link down below, or you can type this into your browser. And I post short stories every month on my blog. Uh, my Patreon patrons get those short stories four months ahead of everyone else. So if you want to be really cool, go join them. Um, we have a lot of fun. I answer questions. I post short stories. Every month I also do a newsletter for some of my Patreon family, um, depending on which tier you're in. So go check all of those out to figure out where the best place for you would be. Um, if not, though, just like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you know every time I post so you can stay up to date with the writing industry, really good writing tips, and also just being a friend. Until then, bye.